Wow, this place has a distinct flavor and quality to it. It resembles the clubs I've seen in hundred-year-old 2D movies. Looks like a security professional. But why would anyone need to employ a security professional? It's probably just for show. Hi, do you work at the Stardust? Yes, madame. How may I be of help? You are a security professional, right? Yes, madame. Then we are in the same business. We are, madame? Yes, I'm a peace officer. You are? Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, I'm afraid. Bye. He's awfully cute, but on the job right now. He's the man with the cocktails, and some information, I hope. Hi, I'm Senior Officer Phoenix Wallace from the Adrianopolis Peace and Security Center. Hi, Officer Wallace. My name is Fabian. Would you like a refreshing cocktail? No, not right now. I'm here in an official capacity. Well then, Officer Wallace, how can I be available? Do you know a man by the name of Vasily Bogdanov? Of course I know Mr. Bogdanov. He is one of my regulars here, although I haven't seen him lately. Well, I regret to tell you that Mr. Bogdanov is no longer with us. Oh, you mean he skipped town? No, he didn't skip town. Mr. Bogdanov is dead. He died? In an accident or something? No, he was murdered in a rogue state. But this information is confidential, and you're not to tell the others. Oh, of course not, Officer Wallace. Confidentiality is my second name. Can I ask how he died? I'll get to that later. First, I need to ask questions. I will do everything I can to be helpful, Officer Wallace. Fabian, how often did Mr. Bogdanov frequent this place? Oh, he was here almost every night. For a while, he seemed to really enjoy himself here. Did you engage in conversations with him every time he visited? I can't say every time, but he was a talkative man and very approachable. We had many conversations. His company will be missed in this place. How would you describe your relationship with him? Well, I was his bartender and he was my customer. But as you probably know, Officer Wallace, in my line of business, we tend to get to know our customers pretty well. Actually, I was counting on that, Fabian. Can you say that you were close to Mr. Bogdanov? It depends on what kind of closeness you are referring to, Officer. Of course, I mean the type of friendship in which he would have confided in you. Oh, that kind of friendship. Well, you could say that I have a sympathetic ear. So, are you originally from Adrianopolis? Yes, I am. So you were here during the bloodbath? Yes, I regret to say. 
I was here during that terrible period. I'm surprised that you know about that savage riot, which took place some 20 years ago. 24 years ago, to be exact. I was only three. You mean you were here too? Right in the middle of it. I lost my biological family and was abandoned on the streets during that riot. I am really sorry to hear of that, Officer Wallace. I guess we are both scarred for life. How did you survive on the streets? Can you recall? I can't recall much. Sometimes I have horrific flashbacks. I was found by Amnesty International, alone, frightened, and hungry on the streets. Well, at least we were lucky enough to survive all that. Many of the people I knew from my youth did not. How about you? How did you survive? My bio family took me to the hills, along with many others. We spent the entire winter there until the Union Army arrived and put a stop to all the atrocities. We barely survived the harsh winter. If the Union Army hadn't arrived, we would have perished in the hills. Anyone who survived that carnage owes their life to the Union Army. Do you know where Mr. Bogdanov was from? No, come to think of it, the subject never came up. And you never thought to ask? Officer Wallace, it is not my business to ask my customers personal questions like that. I am here only to listen and to make comments about the things they choose to share with me. Hmm, I respect your professionalism. What determines your code of conduct? You mean my company rules? It is the Guild of Personal Service Professionals, the PSP. You mean you're in the same guild with the male prostitutes? Yes, I am. It is not something to be proud of, but nevertheless, some high executives think bartenders please their customers in the similar way that prostitutes do. I don't mind, because the PSP is good at providing training for my professional development and uh, protecting my rights. So, Mr. Bogdanov never chose to open the subject about his past? No, Officer Wallace, he did not. In that case, you're probably not aware that he was a recent immigrant. He was a recent immigrant? No, I had no idea. Where from? He immigrated from the rogue state of Russia. Thanks for the information. I shouldn't take more of your time today, but I might come back with more questions later. Certainly, Officer Wallace.
Oh. I just cannot get that nightmare out of my head. It just keeps haunting me. <laughs> 